it's not. Um, so, you know, oftentimes you'll see gargum added to it uh, or other things, and they just do that so they can save themselves a little bit of money and give you a little less coconut milk. That's why you like high uh, no, coconut, uh, the reason why I like the Thai is because uh, when you actually look at, it's actually the easiest to find how much fat content is in the coconut milk. The higher the fat content doesn't necessarily mean worse for you. It means there's more coconut in it. Okay? You did something there that I highly recommend. What's that? Before you opened the can, you shook it. Because with coconut milk, the fat always tends to stick right on top yes. of the jar. It's such a shock when you open up your closet. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and sometimes you can shake it and it's still there because yeah. it sat on the shelf for so long it hardened and you just cut it with a knife. Um, but uh, anyway, I have used different coconut milks and all of them work. Uh, they put uh, a little bit of gar gum in the Thai coconut, but there's also a high percentage of the coconut in it. And so it's more creamy than some of your other coconut milks, so more watery. <laughs> it's the only seminar you come in it smells great. <laughs> yeah, I have more time, aren't I? Go ahead. Do you have any questions about coconut oil? Yes, we do. We get a lot of questions about coconut oil. Um, one thing I tell people, uh, as little oil as possible in your diet is best, um, but uh, coconut oil is one that because it's already saturated, when you cook it, uh, it stays saturated, rather than when you cook olive oil, it turns into the wrong kind of fat that uh, causes cancer. Um, no cooked oil is the greatest, but uh, <laughs> try to use as little oil as possible. That's what I say. There seems to be talk recently about olive, uh, coconut oil being so good for you and not having those in a pot, he's been hot for so long that make it unhealthy. So I don't know what anybody else I heard about that. Yeah, and I can talk to you more. We're almost out of time, so that's why I'm going to have to move <laughs> myself along here. But anyway, you take this coconut milk that you put in this jar, and you put in uh, four tablespoons of chia seeds. Yes, it's the same thing from the chia pet. <laughs> That's the grass that grows on them. It's from the chia seeds. Cool. And you can eat it, it would be good for you. Uh, let's see. What else am I missing? You guys have the recipe? Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Yes, thank you. Pineapple juice concentrate. We want a quarter cup of that. Now, the recipe says to put raw honey in it. I have never yet made this recipe with honey in it. Uh, I find it perfectly sweet enough without it, uh, but if you wanted to really make it into a dessert, then you could add the honey. All right, anything else on that? Oh yes, the vanilla. So you put that in and uh, Not what do you put on oh, this vanilla you add? That was vanilla, yep. And, what that and then you take the jar and you put the lid on and you shake it. And why does that have to be done up or not? Uh, you want those chia seeds to absorb the coconut milk and they gel just like flaxseed does. So what happens, you see how liquidy this is, right? You stick it in the fridge overnight. Time work. And voila, here it is. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Wow. <laughs> I'm brave, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> All right, there it is. And when you take that, and look, the whole thing is like chia seeds all the way through it, right? Uh, when you take that and you get a bowl of fruit like this, and you mix that little bit in it, <coughs> there's what you get. And it looks like tapioca pudding. Those little chia seeds turn into little jelly balls, like tapioca pudding, but you didn't have to cook a thing. Uh, you just cut up your raw fruit, throw it in and mix it up, and your recipe's done. You can serve it immediately. Okay, so the only thing you had to do the night before was, you know, the laborious thing of shaking this little jar and sticking it in the fridge. Was that hard? Yeah.
All right. Would you use flax instead of chia? Uh, it wouldn't be quite the same. Yeah. <laughs> flax seeds stay hard even shells. after they gel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the shells are a little bit hard to chew. So anyway, our time's up and our recording is over. But uh, if you have more questions.